unboxing uh, of a package of trees I received from the Walcott Organic Nursery in the Herefordshire. It's almost a neighbor in the county to our original county. And uh, I read about them when I was looking for an apple that uh, they only had. Uh, the others had it in the past, but uh, the rootstock that I was after was sold out, so I had to go somewhere else. But uh, I decided to really go for them when I read about them in this uh, Kitchen Garden magazine, December 2014. That's Kevin, the owner of the nursery. Now I'm doing a unboxing. As you see, the tree arrived in a cardboard box. I will now go to open this cardboard box. Um, okay, now I've opened the top cardboard layer. I'm really impressed. Uh, uh, the trees are packed with the straw around them. That helps because it protects against the frost. So also the, the straw can be used for chickens. Okay, uh, I've now opened the cardboard uh, layer of the box. The trees, you can see them here. And the straw is also very good. It's actually wheat straw. As you see, chickens will also eat this. If I put it for bedding also. And the trees are here. They look all right to me. Yeah, they look all right. Let me just open the packaging and we will see. This is the roots. That's the most important part. I want to see that one the roots. And uh, another pack of it here. So they have used the space in a very efficient way. Okay, I've now opened the first pack of the trees roots. And I can say that this is really impressive, the roots. Oh, you see all the fine roots and even the soil is attached to it. It means they have not washed with a spray of water, jet of water, which they do sometimes in the commercial nursery. This is an organic nursery, so they're more careful, it seems. And all these finer root systems, these are the ones that I want. This means that this tree will establish it, hopefully, very well. The varieties I have here is plum, marjorie seedling, and this is pear concord, and uh, there must be another batch somewhere. Okay, now I've opened the second uh, pack of trees. The root system is here again. Very good, very good. Oh, look at this fine rootlets. How they have moved it. Brilliant. I've saw in the magazine actually how they do it. They use a device which is uh, going under the roots of the trees and just lift it with the whole soil. And then they just shake away the soil. And that is good, that is good. I'm impressed. And the variety is cherry colony. This is a resistant cherry I got. Another cherry merchant, another resistant cherry. Uh, cherry again, Merton Glory. I really like this variety. And this is from the previous pack. That's the tree, apple tree I was after. Yeah, apple tree Winston, uh, also known as the Winter King. I wanted a very late apple variety. And uh, yeah, I was late to buy it from Keeper's Nursery or the Blackmore didn't have it at all, all, all through the season. So Walcott Nursery had it and I got it. M26, uh, that means the tree will be maximum three and a half meter tall. I will keep it under control. I'm really impressed. A good, very good root system. Better than what I thought. I was a bit worried that uh, this is a new company for me new nursery but really good thumbs up Walcott nursery I am impressed yep the trees are really good I'm impressed this is a good size 
cherry tree for a first year one and I bought them really good price compared to other nurseries I think Walcott uh, has done well Apple Winston, yeah, good size and uh, it needs uh, probably this year or next year needs uh, um, some pruning to establish the structure I want uh, the only thing is that I'm not impressed really with the pear Concord I received something like this also from the back uh, keeper's nursery the other time last year when I bought but the ones I bought from Blackmore were, were much bigger probably they were two years old I don't remember exactly these are one year old and the cherries are really good good size but for a first year tree it is really good it gives some leaves this year I don't think I will get any fruit on this uh, for current year. It's not two year old, it's just one year. Maybe one one or two here. But uh, yeah, I have enough cherries at the moment. So this I'm just letting it go for, for building is strange for better root system and uh, framework. And oh at the bottom is the catalog. Let me see what is in this catalog. Uh, I have to work with one hand, so yeah. That's the catalog, fruit catalog. That's the guide on the training the trees. Anyway, these are some of the trees they have. Apples, very impressive. Okay, this was the unboxing of the trees I bought from the Walcott Nursery. Uh, the trees I bought generally were 15 pound. That's really good, really good. The next option is to go and buy it from Aston, six pound, but you may end up with something like this. Um, okay, overall expression, experience from Walcott Nursery. I had my trees, good trees except the pear, a smallish of course, but they may grow bigger, definitely hoping will grow bigger. Uh, chickens will have their hay, the straw, and uh, I will have some cardboard to suppress the weeds in the allotment, so everything will be used, except these uh, strings, I may use them actually for tying the tomatoes later. Okay, I will not, in allotment we are very sustainable, we are doing very sustainable way of farming, and uh, horticulture, uh, we don't waste anything practically. Everything will be used, even these haze after chickens have slept over them or they use the seeds and everything. We'll be again going back to campus, so that's the best way of, or you can say the future of the farming should be like this. Merry Christmas. Food pots in a cherry tree. Okay. What you see here is a cherry tree. The variety is called Merton Glory. And as you can see, these are fruit pots. Each one of these little pots gives two, at least two fruits. As you know, the cherries come in clusters of two. So, practically it means this tree is giving a lot of fruits next year, next summer, next spring and summer. Merchant Glory is a very good uh, cherry. I bought this tree from the Keeper's Nursery and is very resistant to scab, uh, fruit splitting, canker. Generally, it's a very good cherry and as you can see lots of pots here on this beautiful tree I have to use a piece of paper just to help the focus otherwise the camera will focus on the background instead of the pots
Merton Glory Cherry and look at the size of the food pots. This is amazing. I've compared it with other varieties of the cherry that people have and also myself. This gives the biggest fruit blossoms. And if you look here, one of them is actually opening now. It's amazing. Uh, cherry variety Merchant Glory is in bloom. Look at the blossoms. <laughs> it's like like a long uh, handled duster. Beautiful. Second year of it. First year gave us some fruits. Um, yellow, red cherries. And now is the second year of his life. Beautiful, full of blossoms. Lovely. Harvesting Cherry Merton Glory. We have a little problem with the black aphid, and I think the, re the reason for that was that we got some <laughs> what they call as organic trees. Organic trees means they don't use any pesticide, so practically you bring a lot of pests with you with that to your garden. Oh, look at the size of this cherry, it's Merton Glory cherry. They are the size of plums. I think this is about, uh, yeah, well over a pound, weight-wise, of fruits. You cannot find them in the shops because you are the only one who grow them. They are not uh, the, the normal of the cherry that they cultivate. I think, Susan, you need more punnet. Let me, I will go and bring you something. Okay. All done. So I changed now the punnet because the punnet was too small, that one. So definitely more than a pound weight-wise. If you want to buy it, probably, because there is no variety like that in the market available, I've not seen it. So you may have to pay a good dear amount of money for this. Hmm. Can I say that, uh, yeah, for every kilo, five pound? Oh, tell it ten pound, one hundred pound. You don't find it. When there is nothing in the market, that's it. You have to grow it yourself and wait one year or two years in this case because we had a min this meaningful crop in the second year. First year it gave us some, but uh, the birds mostly had it. They look yummy. There is more here, Susie. Yeah. Harvest of the Merton Glory cherry. How, how, what's the weight of this in your, what is in your hand now? What do you think, Susan? Probably about 300 grams. I think this is a pound. Um, pound, probably about half a pound. More than a No, uh, maybe. It's a, it's a maybe, pound. Maybe. I'm not good with pounds. <laughs> Let me just weight it myself. So my hand. Yeah. This is about 600 grams. Here, take it, Susan, please. And this is a tasting of a... Merton Glory Cherry. We harvested it uh, yesterday. 
and now I'm going to taste it and describe the taste. The look of it, as you see, the, the, the different ones, and then it will really go red. That's the way they are. The yellowish and uh, some beautiful pinkish uh, or to red, reddish uh, tinge. And they're quite large, actually. They're the size of a small plum. And this is a plum, a medium plum. And this is the size of it compared to that. So I'm going now to taste it and describe the taste. Oh, sweet. Sweet, slightly acidic. Mmm. Very fruity. Mmm. This is the color of the flesh, by the way. Kind of yellowish straw color. Mmm. Oh, quite juicy and fresh. Oh, I have to go and have another one. <laughs> I'm going to bite this and just show you the flesh before finishing it up. Mmm. Juicy and very cherry like. That is beautiful. Almost whitish to a straw cream color. And it's very, yeah, sweet and fresh. Mm. Mm -hmm. Merchant Glory Cherry, thumbs up. Very good. This is the second year. In the first year I gave uh, some fruit. Second year also gave some fruit. More than first year, about 600 grams probably. We bought this tree, I think, from the... Yeah, we bought it from the Keeper's Nursery. Keeper's Nursery gives uh, good cherries. It was a two-year-old cherry. Mm. If you plant, by the way, if you don't know, if you plant the seed of a sweet cherry, what you will get is not a sweet cherry. Sweet cherry cannot be grown from the seed. What you will end up is um, sour cherry. Try it. Mm. 